In some blockbuster news, Nigel McGuinness has announced that his return match will take place at AEW Grand Slam in just two weeks, and it will be against the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. We're going to talk about what the hell is going on, everything you need to know about this story, as well as Bobby Lashley. He looks like he has at least spoken to all elite wrestling. Is Bobby Lashley headed to AEW? Can we expect a debut soon? We're going to talk about it. All that much more coming up right here in this video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. I'm here with the Outrunner stash, and I'm so excited right now because tonight on AEW Dynamite, we found out that Nigel McGuinness, after over a decade away from professional wrestling, in, in ring professional wrestling, I should say, is making his return. And it will be in the dream match that people have wanted for a very long time. McGuinness Danielson. Grand Slam at this point. It seems to be non-title. This stems from Nigel McGuinness tonight on AEW Dynamite saying that he wanted to talk to Tony Khan. Later on in the night, he comes out in the ring and he begins speaking about Brian Danielson getting this second chance, this second lease on life, the second lease on his career and claiming that the reason why he is disgusted and so revolted every time he sees Brian Danielson is because Brian has the career resurgence, the career renaissance, the return from a retirement that McGinnis always wanted. And they set up the match. McGinnis has signed the contract. It is in Brian's court now. AEW Grand Slam at that point or at, before tonight was really struggling at selling tickets. I believe they were sitting somewhere between 3,700 to 4,000 tickets sold prior to tonight. I assume we'll get a WrestleTix update in the next couple of days that shows a large increase. I don't know how much it's going to be, but it's probably a significant increase in that. And they're going to need it. And man, if like, there was ever a match to put on here and an audible to call, it was this one. Originally, Brian Danielson was set to face Darby Allen for the AEW World Championship. Darby, of course, had won the Royal Rampage a couple of weeks ago. And that was the match that was set in stone. Those plans seem to have changed. Now, instead, it looks like it's going to be Brian versus Nigel interesting to see what Brian is going to say but then Darby versus Moxley winner of that match is the new number one contender for the all elite wrestling world championship and I am going to be glued to my seat because at this point I'm going all I'm going to Grand Slam. I get it's, it's happening. I'm going to Grand Slam. And the reason I'm going is because of this man. Nigel McGuinness has not graced the professional wrestling, a professional wrestling ring in a singles match in well over a decade. His last match was in like a bingo hall in Clarksburg, West Virginia. And you know, uh, there's always been a lot of talk about why exactly he retired. And, you know, people claim it was the hep hepatitis. People claim that it was, you know, uh, injuries. And the reality is it was it was a lot of, of compounding factors. And I think at the end of the day, if you listen to the way Nigel kind of talks about that time during his life and, and his career, it was one of those things where he felt like he could not do what he wanted to do at the level that he wanted to do it. And it was best for him to evolve as a wrestling talent. And he did so. And in doing that, Nigel McGuinness became one of the best announcers on the scene. I think there are very few people out there who can dissect a wrestling match from the perspective of a, a talent than Nigel McGuinness. And I think that he is truly 
one of, of the best announcers there is. Now, the question with Nigel is how is this going to bear out? We saw him make a return at All In during the Casino Gauntlet match, and he looked to be spry, he looks to be sprightly, and I think that was a really good tune-up to what we're going to get at Grand Slam. And this is a match that he's been hyping up for a while. It's a match that we've all wanted to see, and we're getting it. Nigel McGuinness is coming back to pro wrestling. An epic, epic return. I cannot wait to see what the hell happens here, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Are you excited? Let me know. I want to hear from y'all. And let's move on now to our final topic. Let's talk about Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley headed to AEW. Signs point in that direction. Let's talk about it. So FightfulSelect.com came out with a report today claiming that Bobby Lashley, MVP, and Shelton Benjamin have all had conversations with All Elite Wrestling. Here is an excerpt from the Fightful Select report. Quote, we can confirm there have been discussions and even so plans to continue a faction similar to the Hurt Business outside of WWE. Specifically, we've heard that AEW has had discussions with Bobby Lashley, MVP, and Shelton Benjamin in recent weeks. However, we've not been told that a deal was done or imminent. Now, this comes, uh, by the way, guys, the full link for the Fightful Select article is in the link of this description. But this comes, you know, after reports over the last couple of weeks since MVP Lashley have departed WWE that the trademark was filed for the name Hurt Syndicate. And, you know, obviously the Hurt Business was a major part of Lashley's latter run in WWE and arguably his most successful run. He became the world champion at that point. And AEW here, I think, has the opportunity to really, you know, do something special here with a talent like Bobby Lashley who, like, let's be honest, Lashley is one of those guys, man, he is a main eventer no matter what, and like he, like no matter where he fits into the card at any point, he's a guy you can fit into a feud for the world title, and any wrestling company needs a guy like that on their roster, and when you factor in that you'll have MVP, you'll have Shelton Benjamin, AEW is a place where you need to be part of a faction in order to really succeed and thrive. And that's like kind of the story of the company. And, and I think leaning into that, you have a, a chance to do something very special here with the Hurt Syndicate and bringing in Shelton Benjamin, bringing in Lashley, having MVP as the mouthpiece. They are allowed here to be awesome professional wrestling characters. And there's a lot of story to be told here. I think uh, it's an exciting time. It's an exciting time. And, you know, for AEW, I think there also is the added bonus from a PR perspective. Like, let's be honest, that does play into this. There's an added perspective of getting a former WWE champion. And I know that people don't automatically associate Lashley with, you know, former WWE champion or whatever. But it's true. He is a former WWE champion. He is someone who AEW can tout as having accomplished things everywhere. He had a belt collector gimmick in TNA that I thought was one of the best things that that company had done over the past decade. And you have the chance to bring that guy in, create some buzz, add that momentum that they're building, because right now AEW has been on a roll. Ever since mid-June, this company took it to another freaking level when it comes to wrestling, when it comes to storytelling. It just feels like they are hitting on all cylinders. Dynamite this past week was an insane show. You had All Out, which was crazy. You had All In, which is amazing. Like, they are putting together a string of shows that are just insanely high quality. And you want to build on that momentum. Got to keep make, making sure that the product is exciting. And I think Bobby Lashley is a guy, like I said before, he'll fit into whatever plans you have going on. I think he truly will. 
We'll see if that's the case. We'll see if Lashley does end up joining AEW. I think it is essentially like just going to happen. I like I truly believe it is going to happen. But who knows? This is professional wrestling. Crazier things have happened before. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. Is Bobby Lashley headed to All Elite Wrestling? Is he going to go elsewhere? What's going on? Let me know. Also, be sure if you haven't already done so to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released.